In this video we're going to look at a rather cool CSS property and that is the background clip property. Now with it we can create some really cool effects such as this. So this here is a normal H1 that just says uh, Dev Dreamer right here. And we've actually clipped an image to this text so that the image is being shown through the lettering giving this really cool effect here. Pretty cool. We can of course do the same thing with moving images. I'll show you how to do this. And then stick around to the very end because I'm going to be showing you how you can take that same effect and use it on a normal paragraph tag here. So we've got this paragraph tag here that says hello I'm a gradient text and it's been coloured with a gradient colour. If you're not already be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell notification as well so you're notified as soon as new content goes up. So without further ado let's see how to use the background clip property. First then let's just uh, get rid of this styling using the uh, magic of editing. Brilliant. Now let's head on over to a style.css file. And let's start with this uh, H1 here that says Dev Dreamer. Okay, so the first thing of course that you need is a background image that you actually want to clip to the uh, text. So we just do a background image and then a link to the actual path, like so. So there's our image there in the background. And I'm also going to do background, just uh, tidy this up. There we go. Let's go for background size and I'm going to choose cover. Okay, there we go. Looks uh, a lot better there. And now to clip the image to the text, all we need to say is background clip, background hyphen clip, and then say text. And we use WebKit background clip as well because we're on Chrome and also the value of that is text. So what that does is everything around the lettering has been removed or clipped and the image is actually behind all these, uh, all these letters here. The reason we can't see that is because the color of this text is black. So if we just change the color to transparent, there we go. That's all we need to do. As you can see, it's very simple. Okay, just a, literally a few lines of, uh, of CSS and you end up with a really cool, really stunning effect uh, like this. As you can see, that works really, really well. Okay, let's now take a look at the second one. So this is now going to be the moving image or a GIF or GIF, however you say it. And again, all we need is our background image. Let's uh, paste that in. Scroll down here. There we go. There it is. And again, we'll do background size go for cover and just like before to clip the image to the text we simply do background hyphen clip text and of course we have get background clip as well value text so there we go it's been clipped to these uh, letters here and then finally to see the actual image behind the letters we just change the color from the default which is black to transparent and there we go that looks uh, looks pretty cool doesn't it you don't want to stay out of that for too long though you might go uh, might go a bit crazy and finally let me show you how to do this with normal paragraph text as well. So here we have a normal p tag. Now for this, the background image that we actually use can be a normal image that's just a, a gradient color image, or you can add your own gradient, and that's what we're going to do for this example. So uh, let's just give ourselves some space here. Okay. So here then, we're just going to say background hyphen image. We're going for a linear gradient. It's going to be going towards the right, red and yellow. I'll leave a link to my lesson on CSS gradients up here in the corner if you don't know how to use them. Once again, we'll do background size and cover. Let's now clip our background to the text using background clip and then finally of course the last thing we need to do is once again change the color to transparent. And there we go guys how cool does that look. You can now take normal paragraph text and using just a few simple CSS lines you can pull off a really cool effect like this where you've got gradient color for your text. Okay guys, so I hope you found that useful, just a quick short video, but again, it's a really cool effect, really modern effect as well, we see quite a lot of sites uh, using this, and as you can see, it's not difficult to do, it is just literally a few lines, so play around with this, and start getting creative. Okay guys, so I hope you found that video useful, once again, if you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that like button down below and the subscribe button, hit the bell as well, so you're notified as soon as new content goes up. Okay guys, so take care, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.